So cholesterol is a necessary fat in the blood and we all make it, we make it in our liver and the biggest source of it isn't your diet, it's what's made by your own liver and that tends to run in families. And we know that some people have a high cholesterol and some people have a low cholesterol and if your cholesterol is higher you're more likely to develop heart disease and stroke. So we've worked out cardiovascular risk. We know for instance if you have a high cholesterol you're four times more likely to have a heart attack. And we can treat that. We also know that if you have a high blood pressure, it's three times more likely. If you smoke, it's three times more likely. And if you have diabetes, it's three times more likely. Clearly, if you have a strong family history, that's your parents, your grandparents, there's a good likelihood you might get cardiovascular disease too. So there's two aspects. The first aspect is finding people who already have heart disease, who've already had heart attacks, strokes, who already have evidence on scans such as the CT scan that they have heart disease. That's secondary prevention. Or there is also primary prevention, stopping the disease happening, catching it before it's caused an event, and treating patients so that they avoid having a devastating stroke, having a heart attack. Thirty years ago, when I started this, we had no real treatments. Through large randomised controlled trials, and I've done lots of these, we now have lots of treatments that are appropriate for patients. We have, in many cases, choices of treatments. We have four different ways of lowering cholesterol. And all of those have been shown in large trials to work. We know that treating blood pressure really works. We know that diabetes, increasingly, we have new tablets that massively reduce the chances of your dying. And if you have got cardiovascular disease, and you've seen this on the news, we now have new therapies to thin the blood that also stop people having heart attacks and strokes. It's really been a remarkable 30 years. There's still progress to be made. There are still trials to do, we're doing those. But yes, we've moved on tremendously.